All right, YouTube. This is for our YouTube channel. We're going to do a highlight 16, 17, even in the S&P. Now, here's what's important. When I open up this chart, 16, 17 doesn't look like it would be of any importance down in here, right, based on this chart. It really doesn't. But what's important to know is not where you think price could go down, stop, and go up if you're a buyer. It's about when it'll stop. Maybe give you a chance to buy it, to go up. And it's also important to know what you miss because missed trades often create bad future decisions. When you miss a winner, that's what the mind worries about, thinks about, tries to get you to feel bad to good as quick as possible. That's what the mind wants, and it's very selfish in the way it goes about it. That's why there's things called drugs and alcohol around. The mind wants to find the quickest fix to feel great. And so with trading, you want to feel great by seeing a move go up. Oh, let me buy it. And you're often too late, and it goes down. Or you had an idea that I'm going to wait till this happens, whatever this is, buy it to catch this move up. That happens, and you didn't do it. And now you're angry, and your mind's going to have you do something that might not be advisable because of one reason, what you missed. So you have to work hard at tricking your mind to say, you know what? I missed that trade, but I got to trick my mind as if I caught it. What would I do next? So there were a couple things that I was looking for to get along this 16, 17 area, and I missed it, the 16, 17, that four tick area. I wanted to buy a pullback to where news came out. There was some bullish news inside that circle on Huawei, the Chinese company that should be spelled this way. In fact, that's one of the things I would make President Trump do in the negotiations with China is say, well, the other thing is you got to spell this Huawei, which is spelled what, H-U-W-A, whatever. They have to respell it to this, and we'll talk. But anyways, there was some bullishness that came across the wires that they were going to extend American companies doing business with this company for another 90 days. It was set to expire tomorrow. So the market wanted to hear that because it had some pessimistic comments that sent us lower earlier this morning. So there was an a uptick right in here where my yellow circle is based on that news. Hard to catch this because it rallies, then we hear about it in here. But when it comes back, could you just lay a bit in here, buy it, and it goes up? No, it's never going to be that easy. Plus, you don't want to do that You're on the railroad tracks. So in this chop, there was something that had come out. Sellers that came out couldn't get it to go down. Some other things that we look at to see that maybe longs puked, and we could have a whole webinar on why longs puking make it easier for market markets to go up, price to go up. That all happened in here, right there, which did not um, – Take long for it to go after I seen it. It was 16 quarter and 1675. I half, I wouldn't even say half heartedly tried to buy it. No, I had no right to buy it with my half ASS attempt to try to buy it. So it was a missed trade. I was looking for it, seeing what I wanted to see, pulled the trigger, and um, like I said in the room at the time, hit the deer's antlers. And that's frustrating. But if I traded subsequent to that on the frustrations of what I felt, I would have bought it here to get long and taken a loser. I might have been buying it up here, take a loser, or got chopped up in here. You would have made some dumb decisions if you didn't, if you feel like you missed a good one. So you have to track and trick your mind. There are times I trick my mind so well that I think I actually convinced myself I took the trade. And when I look at my p and I'm thinking, why aren't I up more or why aren't I down less? Well, because you really didn't take that trade. But you got to get good at tricking your mind as if you caught good winning trades or else you're going to do something dumb. 
And you got to work out that on that. You also got to wonder if you're missing losing trades because that's important. You'll give yourself more credit. You disqualify the trade. Trading isn't just about qualifying an opinion. It's also about disqualifying opinion. I'm bullish. I'm bullish. Wait a second. No, I'm not. Get the hell out of the way because something changed. Something happened. Order flow correlations. Order flow buyers and sellers. Correlations are news and other markets. News and other markets. Those are the two things that always affect why and how price moves. Why, how, and when price moves. You use it to buy cars and plane tickets, tickets and houses and everything else. So don't ignore it when you're buying and selling S&Ps and crude oil and NASDAQ futures and Apple as a stock and doing options and everything else. Everything is valued based on buying and selling. And what prices do versus what they should do.